Previously on Meerkat Manor, the Lazuli discovered the Whiskers Den, where Shakespeare was babysitting Flower's pups on his own. In a desperate attempt to protect the new litter from certain death, he led them deep into the burrow complex, hotly pursued by the Lazuli. Meet the Whiskers. Flower, the leader of the group, Zaphod, her partner, Yosarian, with some social problems, Mozart, the caring one, Tosca, the rebellious one, courageous little Shakespeare, and the naughty kids. Welcome to Meerkat Manor. She's small, she's cute, but don't be fooled by her delicate name. Flower, the leader of the Whiskers family, is just about as tough as they come. And after what she and her family have been through in recent months, it's just as well. This gang of more than 40 meerkats scratch out a living in the sandy soil of the South African bush. The Whiskers have been the subject of a 10-year study by Cambridge University. Their daily lives in the wild are tracked and recorded with cameras and a radio collar around Flower's neck. To say that their lives are eventful is an understatement. As well as the usual infighting in family politics, they've had to cope with snake bites, six new litters of pups, vicious battles over territory, and the deaths of some of their babies. And if Flower wasn't a strong and charismatic leader, there's no way the family could have survived. But her job just keeps getting tougher. It's late afternoon, and after a good day's hunting, Flowers leading the foraging party home. But as they slowly make their way back, the group have no idea of the drama unfolding at the burrow. Shakespeare and the precious new pups are in terrible danger. The Lazuli, a rival group of meerkats, have come across the Whiskers' burrow, and they're digging furiously to get at Flowers' pups. The only thing between the Lazuli and the pups is babysitter Shakespeare. Big Psy, the dominant male of the Lazuli, has already made it underground. Scent marking the Whiskers burrow means he's intent that this den is for keeps. He's the biggest, meanest meerkat around and is homing in on Shakespeare and the pups. With every second that passes, Big size being joined by more members of the Lazuli army. In the confined space of the tunnel, there's not much room for maneuver, and it's pitch dark. For Shakespeare and the pups, the situation is desperate. They're moving deeper into the burrow in fear of their lives. With the hordes of Lazuli hot on their heels, they won't be able to hide forever. As Big Psy corners the terrified gang, Shakespeare has no alternative but to meet him head on and fight. Moments later, 
the rest of the whiskers return from foraging. From the brow of the hill, they see that their home has been overrun by the lazuli. The rival group spot the owners of the burrow. And the angry whiskers waste no time in commencing the attack. In defiance, the lazuli war dance straight toward the whiskers. They're going to defend this piece of territory as if it's their own. A bloody fight is inevitable. One of these sworn enemies will have to be defeated. July beat a hasty retreat. It's another win for the Whiskers. But this is a bittersweet victory. Many of the gang are walking wounded, but the cuts and bruises may not be the only price the whiskers have paid. Underground, there's no sign of Shakespeare. or the pups. Were the whiskers too late? 